Hungarian folk tales. First the dance, then the feast. Once upon a time there lived a poor man. He had even more children than a sieve has holes, and he owned nothing more than a small house. But then the poor man was forced to move out of his home because his landlord wanted so much corn in payment for his rent that he had to leave. And so the poor man decided to hide. In the forest, he met an old man, and the old man asked the poor man where he was going. The poor man told him about his landlord's cruelty. Don't be so sad, poor man, because I shall give you a fiddle, and whenever you play it, your landlord will dance. The poor man happily took the fiddle, but told the old man that he was still very hungry indeed, and he could not return home with a fiddle. Then the old man gave him the gift of a table. Whatever you wish for will appear on this table. So the poor man slapped his hand hard on the table and shouted, <laughs> Porridge and beans. And when the poor man's belly was full, he set off to go home. When the poor man arrived, he discovered that his cruel landlord had already evicted his dear wife and darling children. Now I shall pay and you shall dance. And the poor man began to fiddle. And the poor man's landlord danced and danced and danced and grew very tired indeed. But as the poor man played as long as he could, his landlord kept on dancing. When the poor man took a rest, the landlord ran back to the mayor's office to report that he wouldn't stop fiddling. But the poor man followed the landlord back to the office and began to fiddle again. Dance, landlord, dance! Then the landlord danced into the office and shouted. The men in the office soon grew bored with the poor man's fiddling and they ordered him to leave at once. Now you should dance too, the poor man commanded. And everyone in the mayor's office began to dance around. They put down their pens and danced a merry jig together. Then the policeman heard the news and ran to the mayor's office. Get out of here, poor man! But the poor man shouted, Now you should dance too! And the policemen all began to dance around. The women sent word for policemen to come from the next village, and these policemen soon arrived and tried to chase the poor man away. Now you should dance too! Now the whole marketplace was filled with people dancing around. Then the soldiers marched up and the poor man said, Now you should dance too, as best you can. of the dancing finally found its way to the king's ears. Now the king should dance too, the poor man demanded. So the king joined in the frantic dance. The queen of the kingdom contacted the king from the neighbouring land, and this king arrived with his army, and the country was soon filled with his foreign soldiers. The second king called upon the poor man to desist, 
The two dancing kings put their crowns down at his feet and gave him their lands. So peace returned and the dancing eventually ended. Now all the dancers had grown so hungry and asked the poor man to feed them at last. The poor man took out his table, slapped it and said, Porridge and beans. Then everyone sat down to enjoy the meal and the tiny table made more and more and more of the food. The people standing next to the table were lucky, but the ones at the back could not reach the porridge pot, and the people pushed the kings into the beans. The king's shouts were soon drowned out, and both kings drowned in the big pot of beans. No one felt sad that the kings had gone, and all pushed forward to eat their fill. Everyone ate and ate till all was gone, and they all had a splendid time indeed.